Hi beautiful, thank you so much for clicking on my channel. So today I'm going to be doing this set that you just saw. I'm going to be using the tips by Topco by TS. Uh, these are tapered nail tips. Um, and I'm only using the big size. So like the thumb size for all fingers because the rest do come shorter as per usual. That's how all tips come. I do a crappy job at cutting the tips because I, I try not to focus too much on my shaping on the tips. I worry more about the shape on the acrylic. I wasn't too sure about the speed because it's going super fast, but I tried to show my process on all four fingers. But if you guys would want for me to slow down and just do it on one finger, I can do that as well. So just let me know. This is my first video, so please bear with me. So here I'm showing you the side of the tips because I want you to see how curved they are. Although they do um, say they're much like straight tips, but they still have a slight curve to it. And well, I tend to gravitate more towards the straight tips. So I've had this set in mind for a while now. I even sketched it on a notepad, like, and I'm not a great drawer, but I tried. Um, so this set has a message for me and for you guys as well. Um, so I'll get back to you guys at the end of this video with that message. You guys, it's so crazy that I love butterflies on nails. They look so beautiful, but I cannot stand to see a butterfly in person. They just, they're so creepy. I don't know, but I love what they symbolize. Don't get me wrong. So here I tried cutting butterflies in half, vertically and horizontally. And I tried putting a white half with the colorful half.
so on the cuticle application i always try and place the bead a little bit lower than um the cuticle and then i just slowly push it up towards the cuticle and that's how you get that really nice round shape around the cuticle and as for the encapsulating i like to leave my acrylic super runny i feel like that's how i get the really transparent look And then to avoid the bubbles, I try my best to not mess with the acrylic as much. So just let it run down and like, you know, smooth it out wherever it needs to be smoothed out. But that's it. Don't mess with it any more than that because that's how you get bubbles or you get that opaque look. And I'm not perfect. I really am not. There's many sets where I end up getting bubbles in them. And I mean... Sometimes you just, I don't know, like sometimes acrylic is just not on your side. In another video, I want to talk more about shaping. So here I'm just shaping the sides as much as I can. And I struggled so much because I had my tripod right in front of me. But I had to work around it. Okay, so these nails to me symbolize uh, freedom, they, the rainbow symbolizes love, hope, and courage for me. Um, that's why I did the white nail with the white butterflies, and then the two middle ones have uh, butterflies coming of color and half of them transitioning into a color. And then on the pinky, uh, they're released with color. So to me, that represents um, just like I mentioned, love, courage, and hope. So I hope you guys enjoyed my video. I can't explain my message as much as I feel it. I've had this set in mind for a really long time because it's some because it's a feeling that I've had and I, it was just a way for me to express it but I encourage you to be to get out of your shell and just do what you want to do be who you want to be and at the end of the day don't worry about what anybody has to say So this is a very important step for me, um, and that is cleaning off that extra gel off the sides. Um, so then you just pinch your fingers on the nail and slide it through, and that takes away the excess gel, and it gives it, it just like revamps its shape. Yeah, um, you guys can leave comments down below, and uh, anything you guys want me to record, I would love to. So. Yeah, have a great one, ladies. God bless, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.